the objective of this video is to graph quadratic equation okay okay now a quadratic equation the basic uh, quadratic equation is y is equal to x squared so this is you can say the basic quadratic equation so all uh, other quadratic equation is the transformation of this quadratic equation so now the basic quadratic equation is y is equal to x squared so let us first graph it i already graphed it i'll explain how i did the graphing so the best way to graph any any equation is to find some values of x and y so let us say make up a table of x and y so let us take some values say negative 3 some random some values of x negative 1 0 1 2 3 okay now y we know is equal to x squared y is equal to x squared so when x is negative 3 y is negative 3 squared so i don't want to use the calculator which is negative 3 times negative 3 which is 9 and that's how i got to when x is negative 3 y is 9 so this point is negative 3 comma 9 when x is negative 3 this is negative 3 and this is 9 this is 9 so this point is 3 negative 3 comma 9 when x is negative 2 it's negative 2 squared so i'll not do the working now i hope you know negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 so this point is negative 2 comma 4 okay when x is negative 1 it's negative 1 squared which is 1 and this is this point which is negative 1 comma 1 this is negative 1 comma 1 negative 1 comma 1 when x is 0 let me write this properly this is negative 1 squared okay so this is 0 squared I'll put this in the bracket so 0 squared is 0 and this point is 0 0 so this point is 0 comma 0 so I hope you see the pattern here when x is 1 this point is 0 comma 0 this point is 1 squared which is 1 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9 so let us see all the points so this is 1 1 1 comma 1 this is 2 comma 4 and this is 3 comma 9 so let us understand the main features of this graph so this point is called the turning point okay you need to learn some technical words this is called the turning point now why is it called the turning point turning point or in short we'll call that TP now this is where the graph uh, turns can you see this is coming down as X is increasing your Y value is decreasing okay and it keeps decreasing till this point and from this point as X is increasing Y is also increasing so later on when you learn calculus you will learn that this is called the decreasing part of the function this is the increasing part of the function so this point this is also called vertex the other word that you can find in books is vertex or it can also be called the minimum so these are three words so minimum is why is it called minimum zero zero is the minimum point okay the parabola this parabola this is called a parabola this u-shaped parabola or bowl shaped parabola the max the minimum value for y is zero when you're saying it's minimum you're talking about the y value your y value is not going to go below zero and that's why it's called minimum okay now to understand all other parabolas are transformation of this so i have uh, you can download this program uh, from the internet it's called graphmatica okay this is a free downloadable program now this is the equation of y is equal to x squared okay so 
Now, what would happen if I y y is equal to x squared plus one? Before I press enter, I would like you to think what would happen to the parabola. Okay, so let me do enter. So this is the red parabola is the transformed of this white parabola. The white parabola is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. And this parabola, what has happened to this parabola? This vertex, which is 0, 0, has now become 0, 1. So this vertex has gone 1 up. Okay. In this parabola, can you see this point is 1, 1. So the, this point has moved 1 up. It has become 1, 2. So for in the white parabola, you got 2, 4. Okay, let me scroll up so that you can see. Uh, let me scroll up. Okay. Mm, I would need to. Okay. So I can't scroll up for some reason. Okay. Zoom out. Okay. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is not very clear. So I hope you can see this is one, two, two, four is this point has become too far now. Okay. So let me zoom in. Okay, so again, so what has happened to this parabola? This has gone, the whole parabola has gone one up. What will happen if I type in y is equal to x squared minus 1? What do you expect the parabola would look like now? Okay, so let me, so let me enter this, so let me delete this. Okay, so look at this white parabola and this, I don't know what color it is. This parabola... Can you see this point, 0, 0 has become, your vertex or your turning point or your minimum has become, from 0, 0, it has become 0, negative 1. Your 1, comma 1 has become negative 1, 0. So this point has moved 1 down. Okay. If you take negative 2, negative 2, 4, this, no, on the white parabola, when it's negative 2, it is 4. Can you see? And that point has moved 1 down. When it's negative 2, it has become 3. So basically, this parabola has gone one down. Okay, so let me delete this and type in, uh, delete and type in y equal to x squared minus 2. Okay, what would happen? Can you imagine what transformation would take place? Can you see this green parabola is the transformed, is the transformed parabola of this white parabola? So this white parabola, which is the basic parabola, has gone two down. Okay, so let me show you. Zero, zero has become zero, negative two. One comma, so let's, let's take this point. One comma one has become one comma. One, one comma one has become one comma, negative one. So this point has moved two down. In the same way, each point is transformed two down. Okay. So let us bring back our worksheet. Okay, now this is not what I want. We wanted this one. So let us. So uh, let's look at. So if if you want to draw, say y is equal to x squared. X squared minus three. Okay. So I want. I would like you to do this yourself. Uh, so I want you to graph this yourself. Suppose y is equal to x squared minus 3. y is equal to x squared plus 2. A sketch of it would do. And 3, y is equal to uh, x plus 1, the whole squared.